hey guys welcome to this week's vlog so guys in today's vlog i'm getting ready to go to a lunch hosted by mona katan super excited so i don't have a lot of time as you guys always know so i did my eyebrows and my eyes off camera it's not really a super exciting eye look it's just something kind of neutral because i want my lips to pop so skin is already halfway prepped i have on my toner and my facial essence and my sunscreen actually let me just put a little bit more sunscreen because i got sidetracked today i'm going to use my bobby brown vitamin enriched face base y'all look at this cap i just love this cap this is so nice the feeling of this on your skin it's just comfortable hydrating and moisturizing i got this from nordstrom speaking of nordstrom i like to thank nordstrom for sponsoring today's video you guys i love nordstrom half of you already know that <laughs> but if you're new here nordstrom is literally one of my favorite places to shop aside from them having fashion and beauty and you guys already know i'm all about fashion and beauty and you can get it all in one place one stop shop but aside from that the customer service at nordstrom y'all is literally top tier it's like no other i've been shopping at nordstrom for years like years on years and i absolutely love it i've never had a bad shopping experience at nordstrom i love the fact that when i buy fashion and my clothes from there you know you guys know i'm tall my, my arms are long i'm always telling you guys about a good tailor but if you don't have a tailor on standby you can always use the nordstrom tailor to tailor your pieces that you get from nordstrom like i've gotten jackets like my sleeves from jackets let down plenty of times from nordstrom i love it and you can get super super high high end and affordable as well you know what i mean and everybody gets treated with the same amazing customer service we love that <laughs> definitely love that y'all this feels so good on the skin and look how it just gives my skin an instant glow it's so soft and so dewy looking like it just looks like healthy skin so that's my focus today on today's look i want to focus on like really good looking skin and i know you guys always are like you have amazing skin you don't need makeup i don't wear makeup because i need it i wear makeup because i'm just that girl like i'm a girly girl i love makeup like there's no way i'm ever going to be getting dressed going somewhere and not having makeup on you know what i mean not that i need it but it's just a part of the outfit like it's the whole entire package so what i'm gonna do now is yeah this is nice and absorbed into my skin so i'm gonna use my bobby brown corrector this is the deep peach is it very deep pe very deep peach is the color and I'm just gonna correct around my mouth area, the hyperpigmentation. And we're gonna be moving quick, y'all, because why am I always strapped for time? Um, I think I'm gonna use my beauty blender to blend this out. I use a peach color for the dark hyperpigmentation. And I love how this corrector, it actually like stays onto your skin. So once you put your foundation on top of it, it doesn't move. But also this color is so perfect for me that if I wanted to just correct my face and not put any foundation on, I could, because it just literally blends into my skin. And you guys are gonna see. Okay. So now I'm gonna use my Bobbi Brown corrector, the eye corrector in the color Dark Peach. So I'm just gonna correct my under eyes a little bit because like I said, we're going for like a flawless look on the face today. And I'm going to take the same beauty blender and just, this is going to add more coverage to my concealer. 
without me having to pack on so much concealer, but it's also going to correct at the same time. And a little bit of this goes a long way. As you can see, like I'm just blending and blending. I think I put too much. So I'm just going to blend this out. But once my concealer goes over it, trust me, it's going to be fine. Because like I said, today we're going for like a full coverage glam look to the face. Simple eye, but bold lip. Okay, I'm not gonna blend this out too much because like I said, I'm gonna put my concealer on, I'm gonna put foundation on, so it's gonna blend out. So for my foundation for today, I'm gonna use my Tom Ford Stick Foundation. It never fails. Whenever I'm wearing this foundation, you guys are always like, oh my goodness, like sis, your skin, your skin, your skin, the skin is skinning. It's this right here, y'all, this is excellent. It's like a medium to full coverage, like buildable coverage. And the color of this, like this color is literally just like my skin tone, look at that. Do y'all see that? This is the color 11 Dusk, y'all. It is amazing and it has like a luminous kind of like skin like dewy finish it's not too dewy but it's not matte either like literally look at that it is the perfect color for me now let's see what brush I'm gonna use <sighs> Tom Ford this is the what's the name of this brush this is the it's like a buffing brush it's the 2.5 brush. Just keep it all Tom Ford. And guys, I'm going to link everything in the description box with the colors because you guys are always asking me for colors. I love how this brush gets right under your eye so you can get the product under there. And this is like a full coverage, but it still looks like skin. Because it's daytime, the lunch starts at 1. So I just want to have like a, you know, like a flawless beat, but I still want to look daytime appropriate. I don't want to look like I'm going out in the evening, you know what I mean? But I still want to be beat. <laughs> And then I like to take my beauty blender and just press it into the skin a little bit more. Actually, I'm going to take my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless um, Airbrush. What is this called? Set Flawless Setting Spray. Party all night, stay all day. So I just like to spray the beauty blender and kind of like set it and blend it in at the same time because I don't want my makeup to go anti wear especially around the smile lines you know you're gonna be talking smiling eating so this is my little way of not having my makeup move now one coat looks good, but I feel like I want to build it up just a little bit more, just around the cheek area. That's it, that's all. I promise. <laughs> Cause y'all know, like I'll be like, oh, I'm just gonna do one more and then I end up with like. But the good thing about this foundation is that you can build it up, but it doesn't ever, ever look cakey. It just looks like beautiful, flawless skin. I'm gonna do a nice deep lip. 
just to let the lips shine. I haven't done a colored lipstick in, in a while, I think. I've been doing a lot of colorful eyes and neutral lips because I don't like to do both. It's either one or the other. Okay. So now we're going to use our concealer. And I'm going to go with the Bobbi Brown Skin Full Coverage Concealer. And this is the color Almond. So this is a high coverage, like a full coverage concealer, y'all. I love full coverage. And it kind of like conceals and corrects. It's like a concealer and a corrector in one, as you can see from the color. A little bit of this goes a long way too. So you don't have to do too much. I'm just gonna let this dry a little bit. I like to let my concealer dry just a little bit, just to get the maximum amount of coverage. And just blend, 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 blend. I'm gonna do a hat today. That's why I decided to put some curls in my hair. Because it's, it's fall now, y'all. Like, I'm excited. I'm excited for fall colors, fall looks. So, I'm like, let me wear a hat today. I'm not going to wear a jacket. I'm actually undecided on the tops that I'm going to wear. But I'll show them to you guys. <sighs> Before I get dressed, I'll show them to you. And then I'll make my decision. It's kind of chilly. It's not super cold. It's I think it's like in the 60s right now. Just want to blend this out. Do you guys see? It's just giving perfect skin. You got to make sure you get the sides. Never want to neglect the sides because that concealer mark. Whew. It is not a good look. Contemplating, do I need a little bit more? I may put a little bit of the corrector just right here. That's the corrector here. Just a little bit. All right. So now I'm just gonna take the beauty blender And just put a little bit of what's remaining of the concealer on my forehead, nose, chin, above my mouth. And now I'm going to use my Bobbi Brown um, powder brush. It's a powder brush, but you guys can use whatever you want. You know, there's no rules when it comes to makeup brushes. So I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer and this is the color four four deep so i'm just gonna put a little bit of bronzer Okay, and we're pretty much done y'all. Now I'm just gonna set my face. I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury 
the airbrush flawless finishing powder i'm going to use the color three to set under my eye before i go in with my givenchy powder and then four to set my face and i'm actually going to use I'm gonna use a Bobbi Brown blush brush to get the powder under my eye. So, I just wanna set this a little bit first and then go in with my loose powder. But I just like to set it with the finishing powder sometimes just to ensure it's not gonna move. And then I'm gonna use the same brush with number four and set my face. I love this powder because it gives you a little, little bit of color, like a little coverage, but it's not like another foundation on top of foundation. You know what I mean? Come on here. get out the way and I definitely want to make sure I get my smile lines all right so now I'm gonna set it with my Givenchy powder you guys know I love this this is the color five it's like it's just perfect y'all Whenever I use this, it just gives it like a snatched look like. And I just press it into my skin. Snatched, honey. Everything is blended. Just want to make sure the sides are nice and blended in. This way, nothing moves. Nothing moves, honey. Nothing is going to move. And that's what we want. All right. So now I'm going to use the setting spray. Actually, let me put some blush over it before I use my setting spray. But sometimes I like to go back and forth. So I'm gonna use my Dior blush. And I'm gonna use the same, the same brush. It's like a nice fluffy brush for my blush. Charlotte Tilbury. I actually want to use my Bobbi Brown, um, my waterproof pitch black pencil. I want to go under my eye just to, I don't go all the way, just at the sides. Inside my waterline just at the corners just for like a little a little pop 
So now I'm gonna highlight with my Bobbi Brown highlighting powder in the color Copper Glow. Y'all, this color is so perfect for me. It gives a glow, but it doesn't, it doesn't make your skin look too highlighty, if that makes any sense. You just glow. You look like you're glowing from within. This color is excellent. So I'm gonna use my hourglass brush. This is the I'm gonna link everything guys but there's no name on it but it's this brush right here I'm just gonna highlight the high points of my cheeks my nose forehead just a little bit on the sides Cupid's bow and my chin just for a little glow like I said, it's daytime and it's a lunch, so I don't want to do too much. So I don't want to beam from like, <laughs> I don't want them to see me from Mars, okay? A little bit more setting spray. So when I take the beauty blender and blend the setting spray into my smile lines, I like to make sure that the the setting spray is a little bit dry, like not completely dry, but not completely wet or else you're going to go in with your beauty blender and it's literally going to pick up the product. So you don't want to do that. So I just, you know, set my face, dry it a little bit, spray the setting spray on the beauty blender and then, you know, tap it a little bit. I don't want it too wet. And then I just go directly on my smile line. Okay, y'all, so now for the lipstick, I'm going to use my Tom Ford lipstick in the color Velvet Cherry. Y'all, this color is so fall, like it's not even funny. It is pure cranberry maroon sexiness. It is everything. My lips are already prepped. I have my Clarins oil on. I'm actually going to put just a little bit more. This is a matte... Um, lipstick but it's comfortable but i still like to use something underneath because we don't want any cracking okay look at this color y'all All right, guys, so my face is done and I'm going to link all my beauty products so you guys, I'll have the colors down there for you guys, the products and, you know, what I used for what. So I want to thank Nordstrom for sponsoring this portion of today's video and now I'm about to get dressed. So stay tuned, guys. All right, y'all. So really quickly, I want to show y'all my top options. I'm wearing jeans. Let me just show y'all. <laughs> They're just like a dark wash jean. And these two are my top options. So this one is from Zimmerman. It's silk. It is literally screaming fall. Look at the colors of this. It is so gorgeous. This is the back. It's silk, so it's super flowy. It feels really good against the skin. And like I said, the colors are screaming fall. My only issue with this top is I don't want to wear a jacket. Now, this is my other top option. This is by Express and this is a little heavier so i feel like because i'm wearing a tank top right now i feel like with my tank top and this i'll be just fine because it's not silk it's like a it's a heavier fabric so you know i'll i'll feel a little bit more comfortable in this and honestly the parking lot is like a few doors down so it's not that deep so i'm not trying to wear a jacket just yet but so this is the top. This also screams fall. It's floral, but it's super pretty. It has, you know, all these fall colors in it. They both go with the jeans. Um, this is my purse. Givenchy and Tagona bag. I'm going to wear this bag with either one. It's really perfect with the express top, as you can see. Like, it's literally perfect. It's not necessarily perfect for a lot of people <laughs> with this top. 
because I do have bags this color. But let me let y'all know this. I'm not a matchy matchy person. I like to coordinate and I like to make things pop. When I showed you guys the outfit that I wore to the Skin Potions dinner, a lot of y'all were saying that you would have worn the YSL bag with my blue Jimmy Choo's because they're the, not Jimmy Choo's, Manolo's because they're the same color. But for me, I like to make things pop and coordinate. So with this top, I was gonna wear like a matching boot. Let me show y'all the boots, child. But either way, I was gonna wear this bag. Let me show y'all the boots. So with the Zimmerman top, it was gonna be, it's gonna be these Stuart Weitzman boots. The colors basically are the same and I'm doing a hat like I told y'all. So I hope I'm not hitting my mic. I probably would do this hat if I did this whole story with the Zimmerman and then this bag just you know, just like an accent color to kind of set everything off. If I do my express top, let me put this down. If I did this top, I would do these Stuart Weitzman boots. It's like a maroony color, kind of like the color of my lipstick. So it would just be, you know, this, this, and I would do a black hat with this same bag. So I'd be matchy matchy a little bit, but, <laughs> You know, I don't mind matching, but I don't always make it a point to match. Like my purse does not always, or my bag doesn't always have to match my shoes. So, or I could do this. We'll see. I'm going to check the weather and see how cold it is because I'm not trying to be too chilly, but I'm also not trying to wear a jacket. So we're going to see. But let me share with y'all my scent combo. I did the cookie butter uh, body butter. Y'all, when I tell you this is like the perfect vanilla coffee gourmand scent, like it is amazing. And also the oil, but the combination, y'all. So this is an event that Mona is going to have for the launch of the four new fragrances, the Oudgasm collection. So obviously, I'm going to be wearing vanilla oud. This... Y'all, I cannot get enough. This is like my favorite Kaoli fragrance right now. Like point blank period. This is everything. Everything, okay? Now, the Parfums de Marley Altair. This, layered with this, compliments beast magnets. I mean, it is crazy. It is insane. But it's still like a vanilla scent. But it's like a vanilla gourmand scent smoky creamy situation right here so i want to add a little bit of something extra so i'm going to do cherry smoke on top of that so you're going to have the saffron and the cherries and the bourbon vanilla and the oud and i'm just going to be smelling all types of good y'all this combination right here with the cookie butter chow ain't nobody gonna be smelling better than me point blank period <laughs> All right, y'all, let me hurry up and get dressed and contemplate on what I'm aware. So I'm gonna see y'all in a second. Y'all, I'm just lint rolling my hat. You gotta be careful with black felt and wool. It picks up everything. So. I'm just using my lint roller to clean it off because it's having a dusty hat that's just going to ruin the whole entire look. You know what I'm saying? So we want a nice clean black lint rolled hat with no lint. All right. So my hair is super curly. Like it's way too curly it's given like shirley temple like why are you so curly but i had the curls in since this morning and by the time i drive to the city it's gonna be like an hour and 45 minutes away so they gonna fall by then so right now it's fine so i did use my scent over my body like on my skin but now that i'm dressed i'm gonna spray again for you guys with not for y'all because 
whenever I'm spraying, like I spray right before I leave the house <laughs> because I mean, that's just what I do. I'm wearing a hat, so I'm spraying my hat as well. Jeans. I'm not wearing my boots just yet because I don't want it on my floor. And also, I'm not going to put them on until I get to the parking lot. Y'all, this new perfume is the Marley. When I tell you it is a necessity. This is a necessity. Okay, y'all. It smells so good. So Parfum Zamarli. Oodgasm with vanilla oud. Love it. Ooh. Love it. Like I said, it's my favorite Kayali right now. And then just some smoke cherry by Tom Ford on my shoulders. And why not on my knees too, chill? <laughs> why not? <laughs> I have my decants. Uh, yeah, I don't have a decant for cherry smoke. Did I say smoke cherry? I don't have a decant for um, smoke cherry. So we just gonna throw her in the bag, okay? Oh, look. I mean, it is perfect. It's the lipstick, the velvet cherry, the smoke cherry or cherry smoke fragrance and this color bag like hello fall so let me grab my other boots y'all i hope this hair isn't rubbing against the microphone because that is so annoying so like i said these are the boots these Stuart whitesman they come all the way up to here they're like thigh high boots so i'm just gonna take these out and I think we're ready to go, y'all. I think we're ready to go. Earrings. I just decided to do these Valentino earrings. So, yeah. I'm ready. Boots. Bag. Slides downstairs. Watch bracelets. Um, everything is buttoned up and tied. I'm wearing a belt too. You're not going to be able to see it, but I'm wearing my Hermes belt. Just in case. But my jeans are so tight, I literally don't need it. All right, y'all. We're ready to go. So this is my look. I'll see y'all in a second. Y'all. The way I smell good right now, like, this is kind of crazy. Cherry smoke cherry by tom ford or is it cherry smoke it's one of them cherry smoky <laughs> tom ford fragrances um parfum Marley alt hair and oudgasm by kayali the vanilla and oud fragrance y'all i'm smelling so good right now and i'm so glad i can smell myself because sometimes when you overspray or you spray certain fragrances you know you smell good like you know you spray you know you smell good you're clean you layer whatever but you really can't smell yourself that much but i'm smelling everything i'm so happy oh and skin potions skin potion <laughs> skin potion <laughs> the cookie butter y'all it's just all over my body i got that from head to toe literally like i have it on my toes as well <laughs> so it's just radiating this sweet boozy spicy a little leathery bourbon vanilla that is just it is incredible you smell some coffee you smell a little like gourmandish like i'm just smelling so good right now and i'm so happy but i will say that Remember how I put the, the large bottle of the Tom Ford fragrance in my bag? I just couldn't do it, y'all. I could not do it. And I didn't have time to make a decant, so I just decided to use my Lost Cherry as a topper if I need it. But, I mean, I'm not going to be out that long. Like, the, the lunch is from 1 to 3. So, and I sprayed the cherry smoke all over my clothes, too. So, I'm going to be good. Listen i smell so good and i don't really know what i smell like like i can smell certain you know things within the fragrance like i smell the bourbon vanilla i smell coffee like i just smell good but i'm glad that i don't actually just smell like mona's fragrance the kaoli fragrance because 
other influencers are going to be there and i'm sure they're going to be wearing one of the fragrances and i'm almost positive that they're going to be wearing the vanilla oud because that one right there for me is the best one like not that the others are bad but my fragrance style just because a fragrance doesn't match my style doesn't mean it's not good the the rose and oud love it I'm trying to give the, the Cafe Oud a, a little chance. I'm trying to give her a little chance. I'm going to see. I'm going to layer her with um, the Vanilla 28 and Skin Potion cookie butter. And I'm going to see if, um, if, you know, it gels with me a little bit more. But so, y'all, we are, oof, we going to get there to 106. And that's the parking lot because... Oh yeah. I I mean I tried y'all. It's not even me. Like why is there midday traffic? Like is there a time when there's no traffic? It's literally the middle of the day. Shouldn't everybody be at work? Does everybody have a YouTube channel? Like what is going on? <laughs> this is crazy. So Um what else did I want to tell y'all? Yeah, I have everything. I'm excited I'm starving which I should not be hungry like I should know better you never go anywhere hungry but I didn't have time to eat I premiered my video this morning and I was cleaning up because I didn't want to come back to a dirty room but just unorganized stuff be haphazard everything be just everywhere like shoes clothes makeup just a mess y'all so I didn't have time to eat but there's a speed trap ahead Ooh, girl thank you thank you but they always sitting out here so but i'm doing the speed limit though am i yeah i am you ain't gonna trap me today not today mm-hmm not today but yeah, y'all, I'm about to put on some music and I will see y'all when we get there. Woohoo! <laughs> Don't hesitate, no, no. 